Many of them escaped death. Now some of those survivors are stuck in a foreign limbo. That day we thought we were all going to meet our maker. I was in Freeport, Grand Bahama. September 2nd, it was my birthday actually. Yeah, um, Hurricane Dorian was the slowest and strongest oh, storm to hit the Bahamas since record keeping began more than 150 years ago. Sustained winds up to 300 kilometers per hour battered the islands for three days. Officially, 70 people were killed. More than 280 people remain missing to this day. After the storm came the mayhem. The devastation was complete. Bodies surfaced. Islanders were desperate for aid. Everywhere you go, it's just a crowd of people, chaos. You can't get here. There's no water here. The gas stations are all packed for miles. The whole thing was just chaotic. And at some point in time, you get tired of the chaos and you just want some kind of peace. Princess Pinder and her family were able to get on board a cruise ship evacuating people from the Bahamas. The U.S. government allowed them in on six-month visitors' visas, but they are about to expire. I do not want to take my children back to the Bahamas. They are United States or U.S.-born children. They did give me stipulations. I can't work and do certain things. I respect them, appreciate their offer to even allow me to enter into this country. So I will not disobey anything they told me. I'm going to follow. So worst case scenario, they stay because they're citizens. You would have to leave. I, I know no one likes to talk about the worst case scenario, but hopefully everything will work out for you. But if you have to go back, would you go back? No, but listen, honestly, my kids don't go anywhere I don't go. So anywhere I'm at, my kids are. Anywhere my kids are, I'm at. Catholic Charities of Miami is paying for their apartment and assisting them with legal aid. Their biggest um, challenges they have right now, a lot of it is even if they have family here, uh, it's economic. You know, many of them cannot work. Uh, and it, it's their legal status. Um, if, we're, if, our, if we're not going to provide them with uh, with temporary protected status, their visas will expire and they'll eventually know they, they probably have to go back to the island and, and make it work there. Quilla, come with the brush. Persis is applying for asylum, a long shot for her and her 77 year old mother. I asked again, would you go back? What hope are you offering me to go back to? I have hopes. I have dreams for a better tomorrow. Their actual best hope is a visa extension by the U.S. government. Politicians from both political parties are asking the Trump administration for some leniency. If not granted, by March 8th, they will lose their legal status and the financial aid that status allows. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.